game over. Du, 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 du. <laughs> okay, hopefully I didn't destroy this uh, great theme too much. Um, greetings, fellow YouTubers, random watchers, and Star Trek nerds. This video's topic is very important for me. It uh, tackles a problem that has been around since decades in the Star Trek universe, and that is the origin of Khan and uh, when the eugenic wars happened, actually. Um, the original version in this video is how it was air how it aired in the United States. I uh, display it in a sepia tone to uh, further change it from the German version just a few years later in during the mid 70s or something like that when it first aired here in Germany. Um, you will see some astounding differences between the two versions and I really think this later version makes much more sense lore wise much much more sense and especially in retrospective um, if we look at our own at our own past but without further ado let's get it on captain's log star date 3141.9 a full hour has elapsed since interception of the strange vessel our presence alongside is still being completely ignored an old earth vessel similar to the dy 500 class much older DY-100 class, to be exact. Captain, the last such vessel was built centuries ago, back in the 1990s. These things had man früher auf der Erde gebaut. Es ist eine DW-500. I must sie leider korrigieren. Es ist eine DW-203, um genau zu sein. Captain. Die letzten Schiffe dieses Typs hat man vor über 100 Jahren konstruiert, so um 2090. The mid 1990s was the era of your last so-called world war. <laughs> okay, I just love Kirk's expression here. He resembles the viewer of today so well. Uh, he's like, Spock, what the hell are you talking about? The last world war in the 1990s? Um, just as a reminder, don't forget, this series was produced in the 1960s when the Cold War was actually a thing. But there are also other Star Trek episodes that tell you that uh, in the state of a Cold War, an actual war is unlikely to happen. So I don't get why they thought another World War would happen so soon. Um, whatever, it's kind of ridiculous and just see how the German version tackles this problem. Sie wissen, gegen Ende des 21. Jahrhunderts fanden auf der Erde die letzten großen Kriege statt. The Eugenics Wars. Of course, your attempt to improve the race through selective breeding. Oh, now wait a minute, not our attempt, Mr. Spock. A group of ambitious scientists. I'm sure you know the type. Devoted to logic. Completely unemotional. Order, I will be pleased. All right, I will. Definitely Earth type mechanism, sir. 20th century vessel. The ship is eindeutig auf der Erde gebaut worden, und zwar im 21. Jahrhundert. A sleeper ship. Suspended animation? Uh huh. I have seen no photographs of this. Necessary because of the time involved in space travel until about the year 2018. It took years just to travel from one planet to another. Ich habe eine Menge darüber gelesen. Erst im Jahre 2134 hat man das Problem der Zeitschranke gelöst. Vor dieser Zeit hat man die Besatzung bei interstellaren Flügen in Tiefschlaf versetzt. Okay, wow, this is heavy. Did you see this? The biggest change yet. The, the change of the eugenic wars 100 years in the into the future is already crazy. But much more reasonable. But this over... 120 years roundabout um a problem that was just solved more or less a few years before star trek enterprise happened the thing is you can put this into the lore of star trek enterprise 
regarding the development of the Warp 5 engine. So this means that before the, four, the Warp 5 engine was actually constructed, humans still had to go into suspended sleep for interstellar or very long space travel. Um, I know it's a kind of a stretch because um, warp drive existed way before 2134, but in Enterprise, the warp 5 complex was such a big thing. Um, it was a radical game changer for humanity. So this in context makes actually kind of sense, to be honest. Okay, let's go on. Man from the 20th century coming alive. Jetzt werden wir gleich mit einem Menschen aus dem 21. Jahrhundert sprechen. How long have you been sleeping? Two centuries, we estimate. Wie lange? Ja. Wie lange Sie geschlafen haben? Über 100 Jahre, unserer Schätzung nach. A group of people dating back to the 1990s. Wir haben es plötzlich mit Menschen aus dem 21. Jahrhundert zu tun. You were in bed, holding a knife at your doctor's throat. Answer my question. It would be most effective if you would cut the carotid artery just under the left ear. Nur Vorsicht, es blutet scheußlich. What was the exact date of your liftoff? We know it was sometime in the early 1990s, but... I find myself growing fatigued. Wissen Sie noch, wann Sie gestartet sind? Wir meinen, es muss so um 2090 gewesen sein, ich aber... Ich fühle mich sehr schwach, ich bin müde. Damn, you gotta respect Ricardo Montalban for his portrayal of Khan um, here and in Star Trek 2 The Wrath of Khan. It's such a great performance. I love it. And no other actor can ever compete with this regarding the, the portrayal of Khan and Yin Singh. Okay, just wanted to let you guys know that. In 1993, a group of these young supermen did seize power simultaneously in over 40 nations. Im Jahr 2093 hat eine Gruppe dieser Übermenschen in 40 Staaten der Erde die Herrschaft an sich gerissen. Name? Ka, as we know him today. Name? Ka Nunian Singh. From 1992 through 1996, absolute ruler of more than a quarter of your world. Das ist er. Khan. Da haben wir unseren Freund ja endlich. Name? Khan Noonien Singh. Von 2092 bis 2096 absoluter Herrscher über mehr als ein Viertel der Erde. So, we almost reached the end of the video. I hope you're still fine and not too confused, because I know most of you guys won't know about the changes in the German version of this episode. But to be perfectly honest, we still have one or two things to compare and what better way to start off with the Wrath of Khan and see how it actually holds up in this case. So we have a problem as you can see, but it's easy to dismiss because you can just say Chekhov sucks at history and uh, forgot that Khan is actually from the 21st century. I mean, Starfleet officers have done worse. So, shit happens, I guess. The good thing is, this new chain of events actually fixes a big problem this movie has in the US version and the German version. Both uh, versions have this problem. That Khan's time on Earth when he reigned was actually in a wrong time frame compared to what was said in the original version of Space Seed. But when you account the German version, it actually makes perfect sense because this movie is set in the year 2282 and 200 years ago would be 2082, which is, which is perfectly in line what was said in the German version of Space Seed. So yeah, a fix? And no, I won't talk about the problem that Khan mentions he recognizes Chekhov from Space Seed, although Chekhov only came aboard the Enterprise several ep episodes later. Other people try to solve this problem, we move on. There's actually another thing I have to discuss here and that is if 
we take this new timeline into full into full consideration then we have the problem that Khan fled really with an outdated ship and quote old atomic ship because warp drive was actually invented until the late 21st century and you have to wonder why he didn't use a warp capable ship to lift off earth and to get away there's only one or two solutions to, to this problem in my opinion and that is khan was and his regime were not set in the western hemisphere where warp drive was invented and either they didn't know about it or they couldn't get their hands on it either way i think it's a reasonable ex explanation more or less but guys i just want to know what do you think about this does this new timeline make more sense than the old one does it actually make sense in any way is it perfect is it not perfect where are its flaws and whatever and just one more thing i want to thank you if you stayed here until the end of this video so much thanks for watching guys and to all my subscribers and to um people who will watch my videos in the future i appreciate it thank you very much guys see you live long and prosper